Okay. So, good morning everyone. Today we go to the next topic which is reaction of metals with oxygen. But before that whatever we have discussed. Last class we discussed about the properties of metals and non-metals. Metals are sonorous. Metals are malleable. Metals are ductile. Metals are good conductors. Metals are hard. And metals have flasture. However, there are some exceptions also. Those exceptions I will tell you, you can note down in the video I am telling. Mercury is the only metal which is liquid. Bromine is the only metal which is non-metal, sorry. Bromine is the only non-metal which is liquid. Mercury is the only metal which is liquid. Iodine is the only non-metal which is lustrous, means it is shine. And Potassium and sodium are very highly reactive because they re react quickly with air as well as water. That's why those metals are stored in kerosene. Remember. Phosphorus. Phosphorus reacts vigorously with air. But phosphorus is not reactive with water. So phosphorus is stored in water. These things you should know. Okay. These are the things we should know properly. Some of the metals. And sonorosity is the property of the metal by which it produces sound. For example, school bells are made of those metals which is a sonorous property. So these are some of the properties of the metals we discussed in the last class. Today we are discussing reaction of metals with oxygen. So you can see metal plus oxygen gives you metal oxide. And non-metal plus oxygen gives you non-metal oxide. Okay. Metal plus oxygen gives you metal oxide and non-metal plus oxygen gives you non-metal oxide. Metallic oxides are basic in nature. Metallic oxides are basic in nature whereas non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Means metallic oxides will turn blue litmus, sorry red litmus to blue and non-metallic oxides will turn blue litmus to red. For example, see here. Magnesium plus oxygen gives you magnesium oxide. Magnesium plus oxygen gives you magnesium oxide. You can balance it. So magnesium oxide is actually basic in nature. How will you find out? Magnesium oxide you put in water. It will give you what? It will give you magnesium hydroxide which is basic in nature. Understood? Which is basic in nature. So magnesium plus oxide gives you magnesium oxide. If you dissolve in water, it will give magnesium hydroxide. So metallic oxides are basic in nature. But normally oxides are acidic. How you will see acidic? You can see acidic by this nature. Suppose you take out Non-metal plus oxygen, this carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. This is acidic in nature. How? Because carbon dioxide plus water gives you H2CO3 which is nothing but carbonic acid. Understood? So non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature and metallic oxides are basic in nature. Which means, did you study that reaction acid plus base gives you salt plus water? Study it, no? Because acid base is base. Kiska matla, metallic oxides, basic, some metallic oxides will react with some non metallic oxides because acids react with base. So, so, if I take metallic oxide, calcium oxide is basic in nature, and if I take carbon dioxide, which is Acidic. So this is basic in nature and this is acidic in nature. So it will give you CaCO3 which is nothing but a salt, calcium carbonate. Now you will be asking me that sir why water is not there? Because okay, acid plus base is salt plus water. My dear students, water is not there because they are acidic and basic in nature. They are not purely acid or they are not purely base. 
pure acid plus pure base gives you water because they have H and OH. Here you have no H and OH, that's why you are not getting water. They have the nature, but they are not purely acid and base. So metallic oxides plus non-metallic oxides give you a salt. Okay? So you studied about basic and you studied about acidity. Now you will study about, my dear students, you will study about amphoteric oxides. What you will study? You will study about amphoteric oxides. <coughs> now amphoteric oxides means those oxides which are acidic and those oxides which are acidic as well as basic. Al2O3 is such a oxide and ZnO is such oxides which are amphoteric in nature. Means they are acidic, means they react with both acid and base. Means you can also say oxides which react with both acid and base. See, Al2O3, if it reacts with HCl, acid, then it will give you salt plus water. Balancing will do on your own. Balancing now I will not do. Means here it is acting as a base and here it is acting as a acid salt plus water another reaction you can write okay so here it is acting as a base and here it is acting HCl is an acid now if I replace this acid with a base NaOH and it will give you a salt also it will give you water. So Al2O3 plus NaOH will give you NaAlO2 plus H2O and you can balance on your own. This is called sodium aluminate. So Al2O3 is an oxide which can react with both acid and base. Similarly, the assignment for you people is that since this also is an aphotic oxide, so you people tell me what will be the And what will be the answer of this? This will be an assignment for you. So these kind of things, they react with both acid and base. Sometimes I have to know NaLO2. Okay, that is the product. Sometimes some other products are also formed. So it depends the concentration. But today we learned about acid metallic oxides. Metal plus oxygen gives you metallic oxides. And non-metal plus oxygen gives you non-metallic oxides. Metallic oxides are basic in nature. Non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. And some oxides are amphoteric. So for example, Al2O3. So with this we finish this part. Reaction of metals with water. Uh, sorry, with oxygen. Next week we will start reaction of metals with water. But uh, with class 10A, this is my last class. Because from next week onwards, Sangeeta Bhai will join all of you. Okay. So thank you very much. Have a good day and stay safe and God bless you. Thank you.